Have you ever wondered how these crazy people managed to set world records at Marca Italox? Well, I'm one of those crazy people, and today I will talk about what it actually takes to become one of the best. And what better way to discuss this than to actually attempt to beat one of my own world records. That's right, I'm playing Sheesland today, a track that I've had a world record on for a couple years now, and I'm just gonna do some casual attempts here while I will be ranting about what I think are the required qualities of a player that wants to set a world record and mark a lux. And, you know, maybe I can beat a world record in this session, maybe not, we will see. But um, I'm just gonna be ranting a bit, um, sharing my thoughts. And I prepared six different um, qualities, six different points that a player, in my opinion, needs to have to have potential for a world record. And the first one is that they need to have a love slash passion for the game and time trials in particular because spoiler alert trying to get a world record is a long process especially if it's your first one and if you do not love this game and you love playing it getting better improving especially in a time trial aspect if you don't fall in love with you know climbing the leaderboard getting better and better beating your friends beating other people you know if you don't have a love for that, it's very, very hard to stay motivated enough during the grind to even have the potential to climb to the top. Because as I said, it's gonna be a long process, so you might as well enjoy it while you do it. Because in the end, isn't that why we all play video games? Because we want to have fun. And, you know, if you have a love for the game and time trials, that is a lot easier to do, in my opinion. The second point is that you got to have some sort of willingness to learn. Because you're not gonna get better if you don't try to learn new things, new strategies, new tricks, whatever it may be. And the good news is that nowadays it is very, very easy to actually learn new stuff in this game compared to a couple years ago maybe. Because there are some very rudimentary ways of learning, maybe just by brute forcing or um, you know stuff like that but you can also download ghosts in game watch them study them or if you want you can also go to the marker Atalux records youtube channel which uploads every world record that is set in this game and you know watch the world records on youtube slow the videos down frame by frame advance stuff like that there are youtubers out there who specialize in teaching tricks and tracks and all kind of tech you need to know in this game. For example, Basic, shout out to Basic. I'm sure you guys know who he is, but um, YouTubers like that, you can just binge watch them and get better. And um, you can also easily join the community via Discord or, you know, Twitter or X, I guess. <laughs> and uh, just ask other people um, for tips. There, there's a very, very easy, um, there are very easy ways to improve nowadays. And you just gotta be, able and wanting to make use of these um, possibilities and actually get better because yes you can just brute force your way to the top but it's gonna take way long and gonna be a lot less fun what instead of just you know talking to other people and learning from the people that already went through this process in my opinion the third point is determination and that is perhaps the most important point in this entire list because if you do not truly want to get a world record, if you aren't truly willing to put in the time and grind for days, weeks, maybe even months, like the same track just to get a world record, then it's gonna be very, very tough. You need to be determined and willing to actually get to the top in order to do it because it's a long process and yeah, you, you gotta be fully locked in fully wanting to do this and if you're not then it's very likely that you're just gonna give up um halfway through which is fair enough but um almost every world record player that i know is um determined to get better and to set more world records and to beat their friends and stuff like that so it's a very very important quality a player needs the fourth point is patience and that might not be too obvious at first, but patience is key when time trialing. If you've time trialed before, you will know that um, there are gonna be sessions, there are gonna be days where you just can't seem to improve, where you can't seem to play as well as you normally do, you don't get good splits and you feel discouraged. 
but it's important to stay patient during these times because time traveling is always an up and down, but it, it, mo most of the time it goes up and you improve, but there are times where it goes down or where you plateau a bit, and that's completely normal. I mean, that's the case for most skills in life, but especially for time traveling as well, there are just gonna be times where you aren't living up to your expectations, and that is okay, you gotta accept that, and just gotta wait for the next up and be patient enough to keep up the grind during these times and not lose your motivation because of it. The fifth point is that you need to have experience slash game knowledge. I mean, I could just say you need skill to, to get a world record, but I think that's too obvious. I don't need to mention that. But what might not be too obvious is that you need to have a, a very um, expanded, a very diverse knowledge of this game and of experience with time trials because the more different tracks you've time trialed, the more different stuff you've tried out, the easier it will be for you to learn new things, to figure out your own mistakes, and to just get better in general. You need to have like a wide scope of what's possible in this game and what tricks and stuff there's to know in order to figure out what you're doing wrong and what you could be doing better. And that's a mistake a lot of people make when they go for the first world record, which is that they just focus on one track and one track only and don't play anything else. And, you know, it would be hypocritical if I were to say that it's completely wrong to do that because that's how I got my first world record in this game as well. But retros retrospectively, it could have been better to play other stuff as well and I would have been at the destination way quicker in my opinion. Sure, there are some cases where these track specialists get a world record and actually keep it for a while, but I would say it's pretty uncommon and maybe then get this one world record then, but if you want to truly become a top player and be good at many, many tracks in this game, you gotta expand and learn many different tracks, time trial many different um, tracks, and just learn every strat possible to, to, you know, get down the basics and keep on improving. And the sixth and last point is creativity slash innovativeness. And this is not required, I would say, but it is very, very helpful because in my opinion, the easiest way to get a world record is to just come up with a new strat or maybe even new tech, who knows, and use the free time save from that to beat the former world record. And I know it seems very intimidating and very difficult to find a new strategy when there are so many top players who, you know, try to find strats, but from my own experience, that just works really well. I mean, you will have to um, hit your head against the wall many times and try out strategies that are slower, that aren't worth it, that are too difficult. But in one of those 20 times, you will figure, figure out a time save and a new strategy, and you can use that to actually beat the world record. So you gotta be willing to try out new stuff to attempt new strategies, even if it ends up being slower and you quote unquote waste your time, you gotta be able to experiment. And if you do that long enough, you will get a sort of sense for what could work and which which things will not work. And, and it's gonna be really helpful along your Mario time trial journey, if you will. And um, yeah, if you do end up being lucky or being smart enough to find a new strategy and perhaps you keep it to yourself for a bit until you get your desired time, it can help out a lot depending on what the strategy is. And yeah, those are the six qualities a player needs. Now I wanna quickly go over what a world record grind usually looks like in case you're curious. Of course, this heavily varies from player to player. Obviously, someone like Alberto or Army, who's already well-established, will not take very long to get a new world record. I think that's a given. They can improve multiple times a session. But for almost everyone else, for the normal people like me, um, it is a big time investment, especially if you learn a new track and try to get a new unique world record, it can take a long time. I mean, you gotta learn all of the new strategies, you gotta grind and improve your time and optimize everything, you gotta study all the other times and world records. It is a long process and this can go from maybe a couple days to many, many months. I mean, I had tracks where it took me a week or so or two weeks to get my first unique world record on, like Twisted Mansion for example, and there are other tracks like Big Blue, which I literally grinded for 11 months without really playing anything else in that time period, just to get my world record there. That's almost one entire year of playing Big Blue, 
until I got the Thai world record. So it can heavily, heavily vary. But it is just important to not be too discouraged if it takes a long time and always set yourself small goals that you can go for. Don't always have this one goal in mind of getting world record and be discouraged if you don't get it fast enough. You have to have small goals that you can achieve in a reasonable time that can keep you motivated and give you this little dopamine rush after successfully improving or whatever. And this really goes a long way and helps you stay motivated throughout the grind. And even if you end up not getting a world record, maybe you can get a top 10 or something along the way and it will still feel great, all things considered. So yeah, don't be too discouraged if it takes a long time. It's the case for most people, even someone like me who has already set world records for many, many years. It's just how it is sometimes. So yeah, stay motivated and stay determined. And if you grind long enough, I'm sure you can make it in the end as well. All right, that's everything I wanted to talk about. This was more of a freestyle slash rant type of video. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this or not. I'm just trying out different video ideas at the moment and I wanted to do something time trial related. So here's this. I hope you learned something from this little video. And if you have any questions or anything else um, you want me to help you with, um, just let me know in the comments or my Discord server. Of course, as I always say, make sure to check out my Twitch. I try to stream there every day or every other day, depending on how much time I have. And subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Thanks so much and take care. Goodbye, guys.